ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa tahu la syarika la wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu amma ba'd ya ibadullah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh with the name of Allah, the Beneficent, Benefactor, the Beneficent Redeemer. We turn to him, begging for assistance and asking for his forgiveness. It is he who is the mighty and the sublime. I bear witness openly without hesitation or reservation that there is nothing worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad of 14 centuries ago to whom the Quran was revealed is a slave, slave servant and messenger. Dear Muslims, slaves of Allah, Ibadullah, we greet you with the greeting that all the ancient worthies from Adam to the day of Assalamu Alaikum. Allah Most High says in the Quran, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنِ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ فَمَنْ عَلَّمُ مِمَّا نِفْتَرَى أَنَّ اللَّهِ كَذِّبًا أَوْ كَذِّبًا مِنْ أَيَّاتِهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِهُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ ويعاد ويعاد بدون من دون الله ما لا يضرهم ولا ينفعهم ويقولون ها ها يلاعي شفاعنا شفاعنا in the law. Surah <clears throat> With the name of Allah, the beneficent benefactor, the beneficent redeemer. Allah says, فَمَنْ عَدْمُ مِنْ مَنْ كَذَّبَ عَلَى اللَّهِ Who does more wrong than such as forge a lie against Allah or deny the signs. But never will those pros prosper who sin. They serve besides Allah things that hurt them not, nor profit them. And they say, these are our intercessors with Allah. Mm. Say, be ye indeed inform Allah of something he knows not mm -hmm. in the heavens or on earth. Glory to him. And far is he above the pardons they ascribe to him. Dear beloved Muslims, in this Juma, we like to talk, deal with the subject. Get that back. Kadir. Kadirva means to, to lie, to state an untruth. And the lying and the Kadir. So we just going to this brief uh, khutbah, we just going to speak just a few words about lying. Why do people lie? To make the truth. Weakness in personality. Come up the truth. Come up the truth. Sometimes to get attention. Sometimes people want to get attention. Sometimes a people will a person will lie because of jealousy and envy. That's right, brother. They see something that someone else has and they don't have it. So they don't lie on that person. Defame their good name, stating untruth. So <clears throat> we.
We just want to deal with the subject of lying. And it says, who does more wrong as such as forge a lie against Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, highly glorifies is he, give other names to liars. Another name for a liar is al kafiru <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladin, ya ayyuhal kafiru La abudu ma ta'abadu. Oh, you disbelievers. That's another name of kafir, of, of kaf, of kafira, or the kafiru, is another name for a liar. So, the kafir, from the word kafira, covers up where the blessings come from. <clears throat> so he allow on God and either act crazy or well, you don't know where the blessings come from. Mm -hmm. See, Almighty God has created everything in this creation to glorify him. But you have a truth. You have a choice either to accept the law or to reject the law. But he has established in the creation everything glorifies him. The sun, the moon. It says, Masakara, wa wa He has brought the sun and the moon down for your service, for your sustenance. Everything in this creation has been created to serve man and woman. But as the Kafirun, he wants to cover up where the blessings are coming from. So he lies on our law. Allah states very clearly of who Allah is. It says in this Quran, Allah who la ilaha illa hu al hayu qayyum. That Allah is the self subsisting. Allah does not need to subsist from anything in his creation. Allah needs nothing from us. We need Allah. So the one that lies on Allah, he covers up where the blessings come from. Stick his chest out. Allah bless him with some knowledge, some akal. Allah has given every human being some intelligence, some akal. But some men maybe can't discipline that akal, can't use it, can't apply it, or don't want to apply it. Some people don't want to grow. I want to stay on the animal level. I want to stay on the beast level. But Allah has not created the human being on the level of the beast because the beasts are on, on the natural law. They are locked up by natural law. Right. A dog can only be a dog. Tell the truth. Now we got a lot of people calling themselves a dog. Hey dog, hey, what's up dog? Yeah, yeah. yeah. hey dog, yeah. Yeah, but that's a human being talking. Mm -hmm. But he's made a choice to live on a dog level. So if someone could rely on a law and take your perspective from you, you won't be everything and every one. We must understand first where the blessings come from, where the Nehemiah comes from. It doesn't come from me. It doesn't come from you. It comes from your creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you get something good and honorable, that's no justification for you to isolate yourself from, from other people. I said, brother, learn a few Arabic words. I know more than anyone sitting at this table. <laughs> but it's not at your knowledge that keeps you a Muslim. It is your faith. It is your iman. It is your faith that keeps you a Muslim. And if we lose that, even our blessings will become those things that will be responsible for our undoing. The very knowledge, the very blessing of knowledge will be the very thing that's messing you up, making it almost impossible for you to apply that blessing that Almighty God has blessed you with. 
You find a man that don't know as much or half as much, do more with it. We see examples of that every day. Allah blesses whom he will, and you ain't got nothing to do with it. You can't take somebody else's blessing. So stop trying to be judgmental. Allah says that this is one of the names of the liar, the kafirun. Another name for the liar is the mujrimun, the guilty. Allah gives a lot of names for liars. The tall moon, the unjust wrongdoer, the munafikun. <laughs> it's a lot of names for liars. It's just like a hypocrite. A hypocrite going to play all the sides. He's just floating around. Mm -hmm. come on, He's going to be friends to everybody. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, teach on that. So the hypocrite, and even the root of that word means a tunnel, a subterranean passageway. Mm -hmm. He's going to be with the Muslims, and then he's going to go around the corner, and he's a recover, a mad dog, or whatever. Jesus. But he's Mohammed, a long name, mm -hmm. around the Muslims. Mm -hmm. So this is the name for the lion, the hypocrite. So if we don't use what Allah has given us, and be guilty of lying, scared of truth. See, as a young, a young man, he might be, he can't control his, his sexual urges. He's young, mm -hmm. he, he, he's strong, he mm -hmm. can't control. But as he grows older, <laughs> he uh -huh. finds that the man don't find yeah. that much difficulty in controlling that. Mm -hmm. But the hypocrite, as he gets older, he gets more staunch in his hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. So it's a sort of disease in people that want to lie on God. See, Allah, this truth is so plain. It is so plain. But there are people make a conscious act. Allah says that there are those that you can warn them or not warn them, it won't make any difference. Right. So who, what, what make you think you're going to change somebody's mode of Expression. You want to change the no. Allah says that He will those who have a veil on their hearts. Their eyes got a veil. Their ears are plugged up. They won't see it. <laughs> so you find those. Yeah, I, I used to party with a man. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, we used to party together. I know. And no, you don't know that person better than Allah. <laughs> and when we understand that you can't read the heart of the individual, you don't make Muslims. And you see how the, the uh, words change from time to time, how the liar changes the input and the meaning of these words. The word sin, ifman, ifman, you see it? And that's another word of the liar, the sinner. But that has changed. See, if you look at the root of it, it means criminal. Now, it used to be a time you tell a person, hey, man, you sinning, man. Yeah, am I really, man? Hey, hey, oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, wow. And it would make some effort to change that. That's right, brother. But if you told that same person, you're a criminal. Then what, what, what? He, he's going to see it, it goes directly to what's being violated. So the liar, the chief, the, the chief deceiver, shut down. He lies on the law in such a way that you feel that these other entities you have more fear for them than you do Allah. See, I'm not worried about going to jail or locked up. I still have to face Allah. If the policeman lock me up, put bars on me, okay. chain me up, look, I still have to answer to Allah. That's who I should be concerned about, answering to Allah. And where does Allah 
Allah is so merciful. He extends his mercy to his creatures. You have a choice. You don't have to accept it. If it's too heavy for you, leave it alone. But don't try to rationalize it. Allah is good and accepts only good. So the liar, the liar and the chief deceiver is Shaitan. Now we as Muslims should understand that it is important to come to the Quran. We invite you to the Quran, right. not to a personality. Right. This generous book. This generous book. But why is religion, and we use that word, we English people, people. <laughs> Religion is just something you do once in a while. You come, you recite a little. Friday or some other time. And that's the full extent of your perception of what Islam is. No. Islam generally is defined as deen. Death. Or the death. A debt has to be paid. So we have a lot of things we didn't pay for. These are blessings. These are, are things that Allah has given us as blessings. Now how do we pay for it? Allah needs something from us? No. Allah is as the and I need our enemy. Allah is rich. But we need Allah. We have to get in a realignment. Actually what it's saying. See, to eat is religious to eat. I can't eat anything. Once I come into my, come into my taqwa and I have a book, a manual in which to judge my behavior. So I come under rules. So I just can't eat anything. And even my mind, my mind's got a mouth. I can't feed my mental mouth any and everything. So what happens is, is that uh, uh, the things that come in we're more selective based on our consciousness, our taqwa. And I realign myself with the very creation. If something gets close to my nose, Allah has strategically placed that nose above the mouth because if something's right. stinking, you're supposed to catch it before it go in there. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Stop it. But then you lift something stinking and you, oh, tasty, oh, it's good, sumptuous. No. <laughs> so what happens is Allah has uh, uh, given you things and it's already established in his creation. If we violate any of, of the, the laws and the premises, if we are not aligned with what's happening, we're going to suffer the consequences of that misalignment. You don't have to preach to a person, hey, brother, don't be drinking that stuff, man. Hey, don't do that. Don't, no, you don't have to do that to people. Because if the person, if they're doing something destructive to them already, their consciousness, consciousness is already dead. They don't come at you that way anyway. Right. No they more. come at you subtly. They come at you in an indirect way. Mm -hmm. And know the pressure they can put on you. They don't come at you directly. They come at you spiritually first. Come at you in an indirect way. Affect your ability to, to work, to, to get honorable, decent employment, to take care of your, 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 your mate, your family, your children. Put all kind of unnatural pressures on you. Don't you know pressures are natural if they're coming from a loss of kind of what they But they put the unnatural pressures on you and get you to, to deviate from the Sarat al Mustaqim. And what does Allah say? Well, also, in there and sign there, that's a kusra. And kusra come from the word like pressure. You squeeze it, squeeze it, something comes out. Right. That's why man loses his balance. And they know that. So they know the potential. Shaitan knows the potential of this message of Al Islam. So what he tries to do to it, make it hollow. Come at it from the very inside and make it hollow. Where you dress up like you just got off the desk. Don't have no money but the holiest person in the community. Don't want to come alive as a human being. And you just rocking it, alhamdulillah, 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 just like you from one of these 
uh, 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 movies that one of these Yahudis that dressed up somebody uh, like they just got off the desk and you ain't got nothing and don't want anything. Just take that inside out. Just strike it out like you do an egg, like some people suck the inside out of the egg, knock it, and blow everything out of it. Like a taxidermist, take all the life out of it. Put artificial eyes and make it look real, spray it all kind of stuff. Ain't nothing in it. This is what Shaitan does. Yes. That's what Moon thought. It just yes. takes the hollowness out of the human being. And then Shaitan would tell you himself, I am your result. I am your provider. He lies. And if you've got anything to say about it, I won't give you any overtime. I won't let you pay your car no. You know how well you like to ride that car. <laughs> You know how your wife loves this? <coughs> All right, Willie. You can change your name. You don't want to pay $1,000 to get your name changed. All right, Willie. Take that garbage out. Yes, boss. Yes, yes, boss. Yeah. And then you get around the moose and you want to raise hell. I've seen this phenomenon. And it is scientific. <laughs> so it is the liar who wants to take the substance out. That's what Shaitan wants to do. Take the substance out of every sphere of human existence. Take the substance out of relationships. So the only thing you think of, you see a woman, is physical attributes. Not what kind of mind she has. See? Not whether or not she can nurture the children in the, in the proper understanding of Almighty God. Come not on. if she, uh, she knows how to protect in your absence what she's supposed to protect. Yeah, that's right. Knowing how to keep herself clean and her place where she lives and lay her head and seek her repose with cleanliness. But you looking at something else. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, looking yeah. at her immodesty. Oh, I got a stag in here. Look at her. Then you holler when she acts like she's been acting all along. <laughs> but when we begin to see what we're supposed to have and see the lie mm -hmm. and reject the lie okay. and go for the truth. This is not what I'm saying. Allah has said this in here. You want to be successful? Come to this Quran. Come to it. And I tell some of you, we got some youth here today. I tell some of you, you hang in there. Learn this Quran. Learn it. Ask your mother and your daddy, get me a Quran. I want to just leave, leave, learn how to read the English now. Learn it. And then I want to learn how to read the Arabic, the Fusha, the Quran. I want to learn it, Mama. I want to learn it, Daddy. That's right. Hold in there. You got youth now threatening to run away. Mm -hmm. Run away from home. I mean. You, you, you got parents that feel like running away. You hear what Brother Rashidin did? He drew all the money out of the bank and went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And they don't know when he comes. He just left everything. House, car, everything. He let them have everything. He ran away from home. You got parents that won't feel like running away. That's right. So we have to understand how to put the substance into life, what we represent. We got those that are part of the international Muslim community, and because they have given up in the world, they become very proficient at reading the Quran. That's good, alhamdulillah. But if, if you read the Quran an expert and be a reaching for your welfare check, no. and your wife, she reaching for her welfare check, wearing a veil, ain't got nothing, don't want it. It's, you should feel bad. The Muslims find themselves in a bad position. They say, this is not the position for the Muslims. This is not the position for the Muslims. So we govern ourselves in such a way 
where we use, we, we refer to Allah. Laysa Allahu bi ahmil hakameen. Is not God the wisest of judges? You're going to design your own religion. When we recite the Quran, I can't recite Hadith. I can't recite the, the, uh, some, from some book. I have to recite Quran. If I don't know how to recite Quran, someone else has to lead the prayer. Right. If I make a mistake, somebody in the congregation fill in where the mistake is made. I love Prophet Muhammad for establishing individual development and growth in the human being. I don't need any man to lead me in prayer. I don't need a shim. I don't need a mufti. I don't need none of that stuff. I can call the event. I can call the government. And I have direct access. Don't get spooky. I have direct access to Almighty God. So do you. You have direct access to God. So I, I have nothing on you. So if you're looking cross-eyed at me, hey, who that nigga? No! Uh -oh. I have no nothing on you. And you don't have anything on me. I can go to a lot direct. I have direct access to Almighty God. Some of you, some of you here probably, those of you who sneak in on us, you if you had access to one of those big Hollywood folks, you'll stick your chest out and this and that and the other and act a different. Uh -huh. Somebody that you see on television every day. Oh, I'm on television every day, but my head ain't getting big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be on that now. 9.30, my head ain't getting big. Look, you have direct access to Almighty God. And in this society here, they don't like you saying that there's nothing worthy of worship but God. We got to learn how we see a brother or sister pick up some paper, paint a wall with enthusiastically, represent what we're supposed to represent in our community. We should know, we should want to appreciate that. Person to come together and want to be responsible for what we're about. We should want to appreciate that. And different people have different expertise. But we have to learn how to appreciate, show our appreciation for honest labor and work in what we represent. People look all cross-eyed and stuff, and you see how other communities support each other and what they're about. Some of these churches here, and you can do nothing but applaud them. Three sisters, <laughs> keep the doors open. Have a little barbecue. Do this here. Do that. Do what they're about. What are we doing for what we represent? Somebody lie to us, and then we're scared to come out and be responsible to our community. Who has lied to us? Islam is not just a few little rituals or something that's no Islam, Al Islam is your very life. When you wake up in the morning and brush your teeth, because you want a nice set of teeth, this is Islam. To go to school and learn uh, something of a particular area of expertise and use that in your community. That's Islam. Mm -hmm. It says that the Muslim seeks to perfect what he or she is about. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't we want the best? Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't we just build this new school, new mosque? Mm -hmm. And if people just keep dragging their feet, Master and Wali Muhammad will raise so much money so quick, uh -oh. and we won't say a thing. Thousands and thousands and thousands. But you have to have faith that this can do. First, the idea has to be in the mind. It has to be here first. So the liar lies on what Allah wants for the creature. And everything you need to be successful is already in you. It's already in you. 
It just has to be brought out. You have to desire it. You have to put the right value on what you want. If you don't put the right value on what you want, you won't keep it long. You want a new car. You don't know how it is for, to maintain a new car. How much money is insurance? How much money is it all? How much money? You ain't had that car long. Many of them get them. Cost more than the, the house their mama stay in and don't have it but for a few years. Bad investments. Don't keep it long. If we don't put the right value on what we have, we won't have it long. And if it is unlocked, it is Allah that is top priority in our lives. There's no way around it. That's right. You know it is Allah that's top priority in our life. I see people every day. Sometimes I see foreign born. Yeah, you know, uh, I must descend on the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> Really? And selling all this wine? <laughs> You're a descendant? You want some? Why? You want a pop? No, I don't want nothing. I want no. I don't want you to give me nothing. I want no. This is my last time in this store. <laughs> Look, they have lied on Almighty God. They have lied about history. The average person, African American, feel he played feel he played no part in history. For seven hundred years, the the Muslims of North Africa, the Moors, ruled in Spain. <laughs> in fact, they taught the Europeans that the world wasn't flat. Europeans, break it down. It taught them that. It changed the Visigoths. Read about the Visigoths, the Saxons. Read history. They don't like to talk about it. The crazy Germanic tribes. Read about the glorious history. The Muslims from North Africa ruled Spain for over 700 years. Taught them science. Taught them arts, taught them many different things. And we were brought over here and made into slaves. That's right. Locked us up with bad habits, lied to us, lied on our humanity. They're the maker. And we're still looking for a savior. They're the maker. <clears throat> Took our ego away from us. Don't have anything we can feel proud of. All that education, all that don't mean nothing. You can't do anything with it. We have to begin to build and represent what we're about. That's right, brother. That's what we have to do. There's no shortcut around it. No shortcut around it. And I know, I hope I don't make anybody feel at ill at ease because sometimes we get to talking and you know the watchdog he likes to bark and bite and, and hiss and everything because if, if, if he feels that somebody can, he can bite somebody that the master don't like he feels good so he get to barking and squirming and everything and some people get uneasy when you talk about that you're a human being like everybody else because you're right. supposed to be a dog you're not supposed to want anything as long as you're talking crazy and, and beneath your higher development, you're not. And some people get uneasy about that. Bring out some dope for something, you, you, all oh, brother, you, you my man. They get real close. The devil can always get close with each other. And how is it that, that righteous folks find it so difficult to come together on important matters? Even the weak person will see the righteous come together Seriously, it would affect them. Even in our first experience, when we were preaching in, it made people that came in, weren't even a part, observe how dignified we were acting. 
Brother lived with a woman for 20 years and went downtown and married the woman after he heard the teaching. <laughs> Cut all kind of foolishness out because it was just basic common sense. And this Quran is basic. It's plain and it's basic and fundamental. It's mukti mat. But if you're looking for the mukti shabbat, you're looking for the metaphor for that way out stuff. And some people like that. That's it's right. not way out. Tell the truth, bro. Way out ethereal stuff. Hey, it ain't holding my attention. It ain't nothing there. Yeah. Hey, look at all. The basic and the fundamental. There's nothing worthy of your worship but Allah. Prayer five times a day. Cleaning up wudu. Not praying when you want to. Praying when Allah supreme and what the Allah say pray. Paying zakat. So that you're going to have to be productive. Right. Month of Ramadan, you're going to have to fast. Right. Month of Ramadan. So we're going to have to come into a position well, we can even do the basic and fundamental stuff. We're in a situation now where we know what kind of pressures are on us, even to preach this message. If we can really understand the price that's really being paid right now mm -hmm. to preach this message, we have a better appreciation of what we have. All right. The big price, not only being paid right now, but look at the price of the pioneer. But it wasn't popular to wow. stand up. Wow. That's right. And then and we had a situation where we would challenge the lie. That's right, brother. And that time we didn't have we didn't have the Quran in the in the in the clarity that we have today. We would challenge the professors, go out on the campus. We would challenge them. Right. Now we got the truth. And the law says in the God, when knowledge came then, they broke up into skiism. Uh, they up in the groups. They, they know now, see. They, they uh, break up in all uh, kinds uh, of little parties and groups. Because they think they know. No. We should look at the Quran clearly. Look at Prophet Muhammad as a liberator. So a liberator for fallen humanity. And that's what it was in that Jahil. Arabia, 14 centuries ago, and we have Jahil now. People need to be liberated. Their minds have to be liberated. The spirits have to be liberated. And it is the Muslims who have a history of supporting leadership. Yes, sir. The other groups don't have the history that we have of supporting leaders. That's right, brother. The ones that followed Jesus, alayhi salam, fell asleep at the gate, as they say. Hmm. Put them on the gate. Why, hey, you, stay, and took what they call, my father used to preach on that one, what they call the sons of Zebedee. He took them off, and they, a different fellowship, the other one denied them, all kind of stuff. Yes, sir. <laughs> then Moses, the followers of Moses, the minute he leave, they go to doing all kind of other stuff. That's right, bro. But when we look at the followers of Muhammad, some of Allah will really able to say that. They were noted for following. And the Rashidun later followed, and then even he said, my community is going to sleep. That's we right. don't want to go to sleep here, Muslim. No, we right. want to reject the lies that are said about Muslims by coming into more substance of what we are about, and we want everything what every other citizen in this country wants. Freedom. You're already free. Your mind, you want your mind free. That's, That's right. right. That's Ain't nobody restricting us now from doing what we want. We want to take advantage of what America has to offer. Yes, sir. So it says in this Quran that those who those who reject Allah, those who reject the message, will receive a blazing fire. Those who reject the message and the warning will be punished. And it says that the disbelievers, when the angels of death come and take the souls of the disbelievers, it won't be easy. Much travail. Alhamdulillah. So the believer, Allah has promised the believer success. Yes, sir. And the believer is already successful. Because the Eflahim So there shouldn't be a lot of hesitation on our faces. Right. We're not euphoric, just hey, like you know. We know it's a struggle. It's a struggle. 
But we don't have any hesitant, long faced it. I've been whooped down. Satan is just going to whoop me down. I ain't got nothing going for me. I ain't got No! Allah has given me Akhir intelligence. Allah has taught me even before the shakes and the this and the that come around. Who taught the heart to pump blood? The heart. Who taught the eyes? Who teaches the system? Allah, with his mercy, has relieved you from many things, given you blessings. Yes, sir. So we have to come into more areas of development and reject the lies. Rabbana atana fi dunya hassana al fi al akhira fi hassana wa khidna wa fi nar. In this uh, conclusion of this khutbah, we're dealing with the subject of lying. Kathaba al kathab, lying. And it is, it is the lies, the untruths that destabilizes people. If you and I, if we as a community would even internalize this fact on a significant basis, number one, Allah's promise is true. Yes, sir. Allah has promised us success. Success in what? Success in your family life. Yes. Success in your economics. Yes. Success in your education. Yes. In every area. Right. Mm -hmm. Allah has promised success to the people. Yeah. Now this doesn't say that Allah does, he diminishes the acquisition for the disbelief. Right. When it rains, the poison ivy grows up, all kinds of things grow up. Wow, man. Mm -hmm. But Allah doesn't diminish, stop it from raining just because other things grow up. Right. So we live in, the, in America, we live in this sort of dialectical sort of thing. We have evil and we have good. Mm -hmm. The pervert, the crook, the criminal, whatever, has a right under the Constitution. That's right. As long as he don't get caught. Tell the truth, brother. But the person that wants to avail themselves and acquire what they want, like any other person, can do it. Can do it. So what happens is, many times we find ourselves in these extreme conditions. And there are many of us, we, it hasn't been without help. Some of us get a lot of help of divorcing ourselves from reality. One of the serious problems today is psychosis. You have many people who are psychotic. Many of our brothers and sisters have divorced themselves from reality. The psychotic person, he thinks, but he can't differentiate between reality and unreality. That's right. So what happens, he says, well, Prophet Muhammad was a Muslim, I am a Muslim, therefore I'm Prophet Muhammad. Now you know, he's the Prophet Muhammad. He can't differentiate between what's real. So he comes up with all kinds of things in his mind. And this is one of the serious maladies of the day, psychosis. Person becomes psychotic, they become withdrawn. They stop taking care of themselves. They stop bathing, in many cases. They're so wrapped up in this unreality. Yes. The hospitals are full of many of our people who are suffering from psychosis, mental, <coughs> mental <coughs> problems. Many of our families have been touched with that. Mental problems. The pressures have become too overbearing. This is like they're divested of all sense. Separation from reality. 
So keeping yourself in touch with reality is part of being a community. Yes, sir. See, with the masjid, even from the word sajida, even from Rafa and Allah, you come here not because your personality is here. You come here to worship Allah. This is not right, to say bro. you can't worship Allah out there in the park or whatever. No. Okay. But the mosque is a place, central focal point for the Muslim. Yes, sir. You have all kind of interests. You break away from the mosque, you're out there, you're not praying, you're not praying that cat, you're doing your own thing. No. The mosque is central. Our community, Muslim communities, are not spirit-based, they're community-based. Yes, so to stay in touch with reality, you stay in touch with your community. You stay in touch with your family. What does it say in our religion? When you get married, there's half of the dean. Because the brother getting married, he's concentrating now, not only on himself, but he's concentrating on his wife. Then when children come, it's going to take even more responsibility to maintain a level of equilibrium. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. So, it is not ideal to be by yourself. This is the prophet, not me. The prophet said that uh, uh, monasticism, they're not of us. Yes, sir. The ones that want to be the monk. The priest, oh, I ain't going to never get married. I ain't going to get no woman. <laughs> the woman said, I ain't going to never get married. I ain't going to get no man. Ain't no, they're all dogs. They ain't married. No. When you get married, that's half of the dean. Yes, sir. Half of the dead is being paid. That's right, brother. <laughs> the daughters of Allah. So you go into a stage of responsibility. So this developmental thing, this tells us Community, family, you're not to neglect either one of them. Family, community, yes, sir. and not to neglect any aspect of your life. These are necessary aspects of life. But we don't put any one aspect out and try to have the religion as such where we got these little items that we got answered to. No, Allah is the primary authority in our life. So we got a lot of birds. A lot of people carry a lot of birds. But we just try to say as clear as possible. When you come to community, that's a good sign of wanting to develop yourself. Right. What is the call of the prayer? Hayya ala falah. Falah is cultivated earth. You want to cultivate yourself. You made a bird. I made a bird. You want to cultivate yourself. Hayya ala falah. Come to cultivation. You want to be a cultivated individual? Come to Al Islam. That's what it's saying. And we would learn from each other. We had a saying in our first experience man sharpens man, steel sharpens steel, or something to that effect. And we would learn just the atmosphere of learning, getting to know one of each other in working. That's right, bro. In working, in being responsible, hmm. assuming responsibility. Yes, You're closer to you than you are to anyone else. Yes, sir. Then if you marry, my little sister, your wife won't even let you out the house dressed in the way I've seen a lot of the brothers and sisters. Yeah, brother, brother dressed a certain way. Wife, conscientious wife. That's right. Would check you. Yes, sir. She would check you. Socks clean, or if it, uh, you know, just natural. But being involved, evolved, not just standing and straddling this fence. We are community-based religion. Yes, sir. Community-based. So the problems that people have, you can always go to a law directly. Hmm. Well, I got a wife. She likes to go to Vegas. She likes to do this. No. Oh boy. Whatever the problems are, call on Allah. It's hard stories to each and one of us. Each one of us can tell. Yes, sir. But the beauty of it is, when you come to this religion, we have direction and a criteria for success. Mm -hmm. 
for success. May be hard for some, but read what Allah said. Yes, sir. Not me. Read what Allah said. <coughs> Come to the Quran. Hmm. Fight the lie. Many lies are told about Al Islam daily. But how do people gonna know otherwise when we add to the confusion? Okay. Yep. We're in disguise. We're supposed to be a Muslim in disguise. You only confuse the people. And then you find those walking around carrying the Quran. What a shame. No. But the people will find out. You carrying the Quran, you telling everybody you Muslim? And then you saying God was a man? <laughs> <laughs> the people that they have chosen that they accept that old nonsense, see you with it, they'll check you. Yes, That's right, brother. And they'll be hooked up in all that talk yeah. Buddhism. It but they will check you. Because right. they even know that Allah is not a man. And you can't the Quran and God is a man. No, Allah exists alone. He has no children. You can't put him on a piece of wood. He has no sons or daughters. He exists alone. He doesn't get sleepy. Yes. He said that there's no nothing worthy of worship but Allah. Yes, so now after saying that, we're gonna have to follow it in our actions. Yes, we're gonna have to apply that in building this new school. New school, new place of worship. Yes, this place here was a, uh, I think it was a Jewish oh. uh, place. Mm -hmm. oh. Even you see how all the buildings wired up, all the wiring is all messed up. I don't know what, what was happening there. Can't even get a good light bill, an accurate reading on a light bill. You're either paying too much or not enough. Mm -hmm. Somebody take one of the locks off of this, and then the person in the other room, they pay for everybody else's lights or gas. Somebody was tricking somebody. They're still doing it. So we gonna have to straighten out the wine in this problem. This was, we uh, either buy some more new tag down, buy something new. That's right. That's the way the Muslims should do. Yes. Want something new. Right. New, break earth. I'm talking about get some shovels and put some hard hats on and break the earth. Call, call channel two, channel seven. That's right. Muslims are getting ready to break ground for this new mosque, right. new school. But you have, we have to believe it. That's right. And we have others dragging their feet. When, when people come out, and you know what? I have faith. I know it doesn't take but three to do a Jew. But I know the word gets out, there will be hundreds and hundreds that will be rolling up their sleeves. Let's get this new That's school right, and this new mosque. Right, Master right. Wally Mohammed bought new land. We're getting new stuff. Oh, right. Right. People be glad to bring their sons and their daughters because right. right. they know, hey, it's serious. That's right. Long as the people think you're not serious, right. you won't get anything. Right. You right. won't have to get serious right. and fight the lie. ربنا آتنا في الدين حسنا وقنا خير في حسنا وقنا ضرب النار
الله أكبر alert. Local schools have been closed and outdoor activities should be limited. Pollution-related respiratory illnesses are on the rise, especially among children and the elderly. Please be sure that your children stay inside. Every year, tens of thousands of people die prematurely due to air pollution. Poor air quality costs us millions of dollars in medical expenses, and the productivity of Latin American cities and businesses is diminished. Vehicle emissions represent the most important source of air pollution in Latin American cities. The reduction of air pollution is not an impossible challenge. We need to promote the use of cleaner fuels and vehicles and improve public transportation. The Clean Air Initiative for Latin American Cities, building partnerships for a cleaner and healthier Latin America.